uh, one of the last parts of the planning process is really knowing what resources that you have to work with. So it's like uh, being a builder uh, or a painter. You need to know what resources you have before you plan out how you're going to build or how you're going to paint. Now, same concept applies here, except it's with designing your spreadsheet. Now, questions to ask. What kinds of materials are required for a spreadsheet? So, software might include Excel. Do you have that? What you do? Hardware. Do you have the computer that you need to design the software? How much will this cost? How much time will each stage take? What skills will be needed to create the spreadsheet solution? Now, in the real world, when you have a client, these are things that you really need to factor in. Uh, because we provide you with Excel uh, and you get the laptop as part of your your enrollment with BEST, that first bullet point here means that you're quite sorted. Uh, same here because normally when you buy a Microsoft Office, you have to pay for a license. You get that included in your package with us. How much time will each stage take? Now, that's the part that you need to start thinking through in your head. You would have figured out your milestones, but then you need to think about, okay, with the resources I have, with the skills I do know, how long do I think that this will take me as part of my planning? So, realistically thinking, if you had a client, you need to think those aspects to see whether or not you can meet the deadline or ways that you can manage your time. Now, once you've done all of that, once you've had your resources, you understand your brief, you've broken everything down into milestones, that only then can you start generating and writing out or mapping out a plan. So in this, this example of a plan, you've got the target users, you've got the purpose of the spreadsheet. So we're going back to uh, the brief that we've covered in the same lesson. So Yum Pizza accounted management team and the bank manager they're all target users. They'll be using the spreadsheet that you'll be creating. And what was the purpose? We go back to that brief. It was to calculate net profit loss after income and expenses. Now, all the outcomes are there from the brief. The constraints are there. So the biggest one there was the black and white printer only. So we need to make sure that when we design the spreadsheet, it's printer friendly. So you probably wouldn't want to put like a yellow color or anything like that and any other notes that you might want to put in once you've drawn out a plan then we can start looking at uh, designing so like a sketch or a, a map of how we're going to design our spreadsheet just like you did with your desktop publishing but for in the context of doing it as a spreadsheet so let's have a look and see what a design might typically look like 